Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. This is what we have in store for you on this July 8th, 2013 edition. Tonight, does this 12-year-old understand the Egyptian revolution better than most Americans? Shooting victims and gun crimes on the rise in the most restrictive gun control areas? Then, Brothers in Arms makes a triumphant return on this episode. All that and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. Top story, headline, New Egyptian War, Americans Lose Again. This by Dr. Ron Paul. Why is it that both sides in the Egyptian Civil War seem so angry with the United States? Because the United States has at one point or another supported each side, which is to say that at some point they opposed each side. The U.S. sent more than $60 billion to prop up Mubarak, and importantly, to train and seek control over the Egyptian military. Those who opposed Mubarak's unelected reign became more and more resentful of the United States. Then, the United States began providing assistance to groups seeking to overthrow Mubarak, which they did in 2011. The U.S. administration demanded an election in Egypt after Mubarak's overthrow in an election was held. Morsi of the Muslim Brotherhood won a narrow victory. The U.S. signaled to the Egyptian military that it would not oppose the removal of Morsi from power, and he was removed on July 3rd. So we see in this article by Ron Paul, these guys are basically playing with G.I. Joes. These are puppet guys uh, set up, backed by the West. Uh, we'll, we'll bring in this guy, then we'll bring in that guy. We don't like that guy, so we're bringing this guy. And that's all, that, that's all they're doing. They're rearranging uh, deck chairs on the Titanic to use another phrase. These guys are like political pop stars. You know, you have, you have Madonna, and we get tired of Madonna, so they bring in Britney Spears, and they bring in, uh, they, we don't like Britney Spears anymore. They bring in Beyonce, and they say, oh, she makes weird faces at the Super Bowl. So then they bring in Rihanna or whoever the next person is. And that's pretty much all that's going on in the, you know, in Egypt. And the people in Egypt are aware of this, you know, regardless of uh, what uh, media may or may not get filtered back here into the States. People in Egypt know what's going on, including this young man. 12-year-old explains Egyptian revolution in under three minutes. Now, if we can show that article to our viewers. We're not going to show you the video because it's, uh, it's not in English and it's heavily subtitled, but you can go right there on Infowars.com and watch it for yourself. But the young man is very intelligent. He knows all the things that were just pointed out in Ron Paul's articles as well as his own personal experiences. And uh, the reporter's talking to the guy, to the young man, and she's like, how do you know all this stuff? And he says, I... I read, I research, I go on the internet. You know, he, I wouldn't be surprised if he stops by Infowars.com every now and then. But the guy's very, uh, young man's very adept, uh, very interested in what's going on in his, uh, in his region. I definitely recommend that you go check that out for yourself as well. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15 day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.